Bara swayo o moya la wana mama Kenya ira oe Bara swayo o moya la wana Mama Kenya ira oe o bara swayo eke eshudara o moya la wana Mama Kenya ira oe alafia i always begin with the yoruba greeting alafia wherein i'm asking that you have good health and be at peace with your neighbors right now i want to share with you some of the stories from the sacred orator of the African diaspora. One of the most important stories is called Obatala's Mistake. And I hope that this story serves to help us to love each other in spite of our differences. This is the story of Obatala's Mistake returned for modern times. In the original tale, Obatala, the maker of humans, drinks palm wine during the creation process. He becomes so drunk that humans are created with congenital deformities, bone malformations, and hereditary mental diseases. In Yoruba culture, people with these conditions are sacred to Obatala and can be found congregating in front of his shrine in Ileife, where they receive donations of food and money. Food scarcity leads to malnutrition. In pregnancy, polluted water contaminates the bodies of children. The cruelty of conquest and colonialism leads to transgenerational trauma. These may account for the content of the original tale. But the deformities of our times are violence, greed, hatred, and the ism brothers. So I've created a return tale to preserve this myth's original meaning and to emphasize its meaning and relevance for modern times. Here, the creation of humans is shared between Iyanla, the divine feminine, and Obatala, the sacred masculine. Please, please be one of the children of the first sober making. Please help us to preserve life on earth. E nu aye mi mo she o E nu aye mi baba E nu aye mi mo she o E nu aye mi baba O batala Da wini wini se kure o boa inya serere baba serere baba serere o bo boa inya serere baba serere baba serere o bo boa inya serere oh well you may not remember me. I'm 40 days older than dust. I was there at the very beginning. 
I'm the one who raised the mountains up and set the valley low. You see, in the beginning, there was just the two of us, me, Iyainla, and the old man, Obatala. One day he went all over the universe throwing stars and planets and doing what all. <laughs> and then he looked down and saw the blue ball, the one y'all call Earth. But back, back then, it was covered in water, and he got a mind to come down on a glittering chain of golden light with a bag of soil and a five-toed hen. And he dropped that soil on the water, and the hen scratched the continents into place. A few trees grew up, volcanoes erupted, things like that were going on, and he made a few animals. It looked pretty good to him, so he decided to go on about his business. And I said, oh, oh, Baba, oh, don't you think something else needs doing here? And he said, well, if you think so, yeah, do it yourself. So I took a great big calabash and I got some dirt from the north and the south, the east and the west, and I poured in ocean, river, and rain. I mixed that clay, tossed that clay, and I pinch, twisted, and patted that clay, and then I shaped it. And when I looked at my sculpture, I had made the model of a human being and the first ones were kind, intelligent, and beautiful. I was so proud of myself, I sat down on that planet and I sang, O Lori Fa, Yoku Yogbi. Well, it was so much fun that I went over to a palm tree and I wrapped myself around a jug of palm wine. I tapped myself a jug of palm wine. I wrapped my lips around that jug of palm wine and I went, oh, oh, oh. And then I gathered up some more clay and I twisted and turned and patted and shaped. But then I formed some more human beings. Well, this next batch of humans were kind, but not so intelligent. But that was okay because they were beautiful. And I took another low, low, low. Then I took up more clay. And oh, I twisted and turned and tossed and I shaped them and I put them down. Oh, well, at least they were kind. Hmm. Hmm. I took another drink. Go. 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 And I took up more clay and I pinched it and I twisted it and I shaped it and I slapped it and I put it down. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got the picture, don't you? And then I fell into a drunken stupor and I slept for a million years. While I was asleep, Baba came along. He looked at all these clay figures and he scratched his beard and said, well, I guess that's what she wants. And so he took a deep breath and 
blew the breath of life into all my creatures. Many, many years passed and I slept and slept and slept and slept and slept until I heard a noise. It was a loud sound like a scream. I opened my eyes and I looked down at this planet and there were all my creations. And they were yelling and screaming at each other. All my creations were throwing sticks and rocks at each other. My creations began to tear down the trees. My creations, my creations were killing the animals. I ran to Baba and I said, I said, Baba, uh, do you see what's happening on earth? Uh, uh, what shall we do? And he said, we? They're your creations. You do what you want to with them. I looked down at the humans and I said, you all, please, please stop fighting. Please stop fussing. Please stop killing. Please stop destroying. But they didn't hear me. I said, please stop. I gave you life and I'll take it away. And just as I raised the finger that would destroy all of creation, I heard a sweet sound. Somebody laughed. And I saw one of my creatures who was strong, helping one who was weak. And one who had plenty was given to one who had nothing. And yet another was planting trees and helping animals. And then I heard the wondrous sound of musical instruments and voices singing and people were dancing. And I said, oh, oh, <clears throat> are you the children of the first sober making? And someone said, yes, yeah. <clears throat> I said, are you the ones who will help those in need? And another one said, yes, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> are you one of the ones who will restore the beauty of the earth? Are you? And a chorus of them replied, yes, Ia. Will you make the music and dance? Yes, Ia. Of course, Ia. Indeed, Ia. We will and their beautiful voices were so clear that I stretched my arms to embrace them. Well, if there are more of you than of them others, as long as the children of the first sober making continue to still the hands of the children of my drunkenness who are not kind, not intelligent, not beauty in spirit. As long as the children of the first sober making are willing to do the work, there's no need for me to destroy the earth. Are you a child? of the first sober making. If you are, say, yes, Ia. And if there are enough of you, I won't have to destroy anything. So, I think I'll have another drink. Boom, boom.
<laughs> That's the story of Obatala's mistake. And from it, I hope that we learn how to live together on this wonderful planet, in this beautiful house that we call Earth. Hmm. See yourself now in the rainforest, in the forest of forever. One day, the sun decided to hold a contest to see who was the prettiest bird in the bush. Robin Redbreast stroked his chest feathers and he looked at Peacock. Peacock shook his tail and he looked at Robin Redbreast. And then they both saw Parrot. And they said to her, say, Parrot, you want to go for a little walk, baby? Parrot felt flattered and she said, <laughs> sure, fellas, why not? So they took Parrot for a long walk down a narrow footpath. And when they got her to a place by the river, shoosh, they blew a chalky white powder all over Parrot's feathers. And suddenly, Parrot forgot what she couldn't remember. Robin Redbreast stroked his feathers, laughed, and looked at Peacock. Peacock smirked and shook his tail as he looked at Robin Redbreast. And they went running through the bush. Parrot walked around in a circle, crying and trying, trying and crying, trying to remember. What was it? What was it that she had forgot? What was it? What was it that she had forgot? The sun went down, and Robin Redbreast stroked his chest feathers all night. All night, Peacock shook his luminous tail. When the sun came up again, all the birds gathered in the bush, except for Parrot, who walked around in a circle, crying and trying, trying and crying, trying to remember what was it, what was it that she had for God. Hummingbirds stepped into the center of the square the sun looked at her fluttering wings and kindly said, no, next. Rooster stepped forward and crowed as loudly as he could. But the sun said, mm, not really, next. Even old buzzard tried and the sun flashed a frown and said, please. That morning, my friend Alegba took his daily walk where he was going, where he wanted to go, to do what he wanted to do, to whoever he wanted to do it to. And he came upon Parrot, walking around in a circle, crying, crying, and trying, trying, and crying, trying, trying and crying, trying to remember what was it? What was it that she had forgot? Elegba stopped walking and looked at her. And he asked, Bird, are you a dog? And Parry responded with, I don't know. I forgot. Elegba moved closer as he looked her up and down and he asked, are you a bush cow? Again, she answered, uh, I don't know, I forgot. Now Elegba got right up in her face and he screamed, are you a field rat? With that, he kicked her legs out from under her. 
she stumbled backwards and fell into the river. Then the water of the river washed the chalky white powder from Parrot's feathers. And instantly she remembered. The contest continued as Robin Redbreast stepped into the center of the circle and declared, I got this sucker in the bag. With the help of the leg bar, Parrot climbed out of the river and started flying through the bush. Peacock stepped forward and displayed his tail singing, it has to be me. It has to be me. Parrot flew faster toward the circle in the bush. The brilliant sun shone on all the beautiful birds in the bush. And just as he was about to decide, Parrot flew into the center and she announced, I am Parrot and I am beautiful. Then the sun looked at her red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, and chartreuse feathers. And he pronounced, Parrot, you are the winner of the contest. All the birds flapped their wings in joy, except for Robin Redbreast who dropped his beak and looked at Peacock. Peacock tucked his tail and looked at Robin Redbreast. They both looked at Parrot and complained. Who does she think she is? The sun illuminated the forest and the leaves on the trees danced to the song of the birds. Who do you think you are?